Hello, everybody, and welcome to History Slash Law Bite number 193, dated February the 23rd, 2021. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This History Slash Law Bite is entitled Johnson versus Imintosh, 21 U.S. 543, 1823. Johnson versus Emmentosh was a landmark U.S. Supreme Court decision handed down during the Marshall Court era that addressed the subject of Aboriginal land title, thus the ability of the Native Americans to hold their land and to whom they could sell those lands. Like many Marshall Court decisions, Johnson versus uh, Emmentosh remains essentially uh, intact and is cited many times a year by lower federal courts with respect to to Native American lands. Okay? So, in this case, we see Mr. Thomas Johnson, who, by the way, was an original member of the Supreme Court of the United States, although these facts happened well before that. Uh, in 1775, he purchased uh, several thousand acres of land from the Piankashaw Native Americans in Virginia. Okay? And he would, of course, leave these lands to his heirs. Now, in 1818, uh, Mr. William Imintosh uh, purchased, allegedly purchased, roughly around 11 to 12,000 acres of this uh, land grant uh, from the U.S. federal government. And I say allegedly because there has been recent evidence to show that uh, the lands purchased by Imintosh versus the lands owned by Johnson's heirs never overlapped at all. In fact, they were wholeheartedly uh, separate from one another. And so there is a large uh, degree of presumption that there was collusion in this case, simply to obtain a court ruling on whether or not it was legal for Native Americans to sell land to private individuals. But, c'est la vie, the decision remains the law. So, with Emmentosh's purchase of the lands, uh, Johnson's heirs uh, sued um, Emintosh filing an uh, action of ejectment to remove him from the land. All right. However, the U.S. District Court uh, ruled that the Piankasha Native Americans didn't have any ability to sell the land to Johnson in the first place, and thus the chain of title uh, was invalid, totally useless, pointless, not worth the paper it was written on. All right. And the case was dismissed. So on appeal to the Supreme Court of the United States, the justices were faced with one simple issue. Could Native Americans sell their land to private individuals? In a unanimous decision authored by Chief Justice John Marshall, the Supreme Court ruled that they absolutely could not. All right? Marshall reasoned that after the Revolutionary War, the United States government acquired the, the right of preemption uh, over Native American lands from the British Crown. And thus, the U.S. federal government was the only entity that Native Americans could sell their lands to. Indeed, because of that, any uh, land sales from Native Americans to private individuals were illegal and invalid and thus unenforceable. All right. So the Supreme Court thus uh, affirmed the dismissal of the original suit from the uh, U.S. Uh, District Court and set an important precedent in constitutional law. You know, in his uh, decision, you know, Marshall uh, greatly, you know, explained the concept of radical title, you know, as with respect to uh, European discovery of lands in the New World, that once that occurred, they acquired radical title over the lands, and thus they became the only entities uh, who could extinguish the right of occupancy from the original inhabitants, thus the Native Americans, all right? No other sub-entities were, or p private individuals were able to do that, okay? And thus when uh, the Revolutionary War was over, when the U thus the U.S. acquired that uh, right of preemption over the Native American lands from the British, the Native Americans could only sell their lands to the U.S. federal government, not to private individuals. Okay, so that is the essential holding in Johnson versus Emmentosh, a decision that remains uh, fully valid and binding to this very day, and like I said, is cited 
many times a year by lower federal courts with respect to uh, Native American lands. All right. So if you have any questions or controversies, uh, leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you learned a thing or two about this case. You know, it's a very interesting one, a controversial one, you know, because it presents, you know, a very strong uh, view that, you know, a Eurocentric view, essentially, that, you know, Native Americans uh, are inferior and thus, you know, not uh, able to hold their lands uh, unless the federal government decides to allow them to keep them. You know, it's 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 a very controversial uh, decision, but nonetheless, it's one that still remains uh, binding law to this very day for better uh, or for worse. All right. So Johnson versus Emmentosh, uh, 21 U.S. 543-1823. All right. Again, any questions, controversies, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now. I would greatly appreciate it. Your support is appreciated more than you will ever know. Take care, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you at the next bite. Peace.